Okay, we've uh, finished printing and we've done our test print. Now, while we're analyzing the prints and determining which printers need adjustment, uh, we're going to shut everything down, but we have to uh, take care of our filament. So what we're doing, we're putting three rolls in each one of these bags, and then sealing it shut. And then I always run this thing back one time, make double sure everything's sealed good tight here. And we'll do that with all of our filaments, three rolls at a time. Uh, you can put up to three rolls in here. Now these are vacuum seal packs. And what that will do, I've also put in two of these uh, recyclable, reusable silica gel packets in here. That will be a visual indication for me. If they start turning dark, that means that there's moisture in there that they're absorbing. Uh, it's going to get a little noisy. Then turn on this little back here. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, that did the job of sealing this filament up. Now one thing you want to do with a vacuum, and I'm using a larger shop vac down here because my small one's up at the house, but I actually took it and drilled some holes in the nozzle that goes on here to limit the amount of suction that it can do because if you let it keep going, it'll just, it'll bend this um, spool right here, and you don't need that. But you can see how well this seals up. So these, these bags are real cheap. I buy them like 16 at a time on eBay for 20 bucks or something. And they've got a double seal here. And like I said, once you vacuum seal these things, and put your silica gel in here. Um, it'll protect them for a long time. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just keep working here. So, uh, and I think we talked about our filament, and I did a little video. I don't know if I didn't include it in this one or not, but I'll show you how I uh, vacuum seal these things 
and uh, put my silica gel, orange silica gel packets in here. Uh, when they start turning dark, I know that there's uh, moisture in there or they've started absorbing some moisture. And I also still have the oven for drying filament that uh, I'm going to bring down here. I'm in the process of modifying it so that I can dry out these spools of filament once they've absorbed moisture. Because if you're running a spool of filament and on these print jobs, a spool can last for days. And if you're running several days, that filament's out here in the open air. That's why we try to keep the humidity in here as low as possible. But um, when it's going to absorb some moisture. So even though you bag them up and seal them, uh, you still may need, if they start getting brittle, or even the moisture in them, once it goes through the extruder, can start causing some bad print results. You need to try to get that moisture out of the filament, see if you can salvage it. And um, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be doing the modifications to that uh, dehydrator and see how it works out. And I'll do a video on that. And if it works, then maybe we'll all have something we can use there. Uh, I guess that's about it for now. I'm going to sign off here and do a little more work and then get up to the house, get some supper.